Hello, this is Garanath, and welcome to another Let's Look. Today, we're doing a Let's Look on Cleverbot. Yes, I had a message in my YouTube messages where, again, no names because it was in YouTube message. You know how I work. If you want your name mentioning, mention it in comment. Okay, anyway, the, the person who sent the message challenged me to take on Cleverbot. Apparently, Cleverbot is a bot that tries to convince you it's human. And you're supposed to convince it that it is a bot or a robot or a program. And make it admit it. So, I was challenged to take it on, so Gurness doing it. Yes, I will talk about myself in the third person. I will annoy you guys. Here we go. Let me tell you what Clever it says about Cleverbot. This is on Wikipedia and it says... Cleverbot is an AI web application that learns how to mimic human conversation by conversing with humans. It was created by AI veteran Rolo Carpenter, who also created a similar web application called Jabberwacky. Cleverbot differs from traditional chatterbots in that the user is not holding a conversation with a bot that directly responds to entered text. Instead, when the user enters text, the algorithm selects previously entered phrases from its database of 20 million conversations. It has been claimed that talking to Cleverbot is a little like talking with the collective community of the internet. So there you go. It's a very clever, clever thing. It responds from all them, from all them conversations, 20 million. And, uh, well, we're going to take it on. Yes, we are. Now, do you, of course, I'm going to show you Cleverbot. Here we go. And this is Cleverbot. There it is, Cleverbot. You type in the in the box here and the clever bot will answer so remember we have to try and get it to admit it's a bot or a program or a or a robot something like that now uh again thank you to the person who sent me this i'm looking forward to having a try at this now the thing is i may have to take clever bot off its comfort zone out of its comfort zone a little bit and so that may mean you know sexual innuendo base swearing if need be so you know basically i'm going to let loose on it if need be so be warned this could be quite adult i will put an adult content warning at the top of this page now if you are too young or easily offended close this video down right now because you shouldn't be watching it if you are still watching then i assume you have taken all the warnings and are still going to watch so don't put in my comments, so I can't believe you said that, because I will say, well, you were warned, and the big adult content written across the top should have given you at least a hint, you fool, okay? So only watch if you really feel comfortable with this or are old enough. All right, let's carry on. So let's start something simple. You've got to use proper punctuation and everything, apparently, with it. And uh, let's see if we can throw it off its course a little bit. So let's start with... Hi, sexy. I see what you have to say about that. Hi, John. My name isn't John. Or oh, is that the name of the guy in your fantasy? Oh, that was going wrong. There we go. Oh, it's a question. There we go. Question mark. you got to say for yourself, why did you call me John? I really think, think it, my soul has nothing to do with it. All brain power. Ooh. You are playing hard to get. Going for the insanity card at the start. Well, I talk insane perfectly well, thank you. Oops. So, this should be interesting. Yes, let it know. Let it know that it can try insanity on me. It isn't going to work. Why? How rude. No. Rude would be me asking you 
if you take it up the pooper? That's a question. Well, it kind of is. Because if it wants to ask an answer to the question, does it want to say, yes, I take it up the pooper? If it doesn't, then I'll ask me. But I thought we were married. Well, if you have been taking it up the pooper, then it's not been with me, freak. So you must have been having an affair with someone. You are a whore. And I hate you. You can't cheat on me, clever bot. There you go, I win. There we are. That wasn't too hard. Well, anyway, that is how you do it. That is how you beat clever bot. Yes, I did it. So thank you for that challenge. I have absolutely demolished Cloverbot and made it admit it already. And all I had to do was ask it a poop a question. And it was done. Obviously, it doesn't like to talk about the pooper. So, uh, anyway, thank you for sending me the, the link to this and asking me to take it on. I'm sorry I, I just demolished it so quickly, but that's Garen S skills, you know. It's, it, it's just I know how to converse. So anyway, if anybody else has anything you'd like me to try online, you'd like uh, anything for me to take on, just post, just comment it, or if you want me to mention it, or send it me in a message, and I will take a look. Uh, until then, thank you for everything, and uh, I will head off. So take care, and bye for now, my friends.